Hey folks, welcome to Saxon House episode two now, which is the actual build. We've started the build, finally. So episode one was all about basically creating these workstations. Uh, we got a lot, we got a uh, log chopping station just behind dad there. And uh, we also made this kind of bark peeling station, which we'd use with the draw knife, which is gonna be for when we make the rafters and really any other kind of projects where we need to take the bark off the trees. This episode is all about the pit. Now traditionally Saxon, Anglo-Saxon houses certainly were built with, in a pit. And what we're going for is not a, it's kind of a mixture really of, this sort of pit house is more for storage, uh, uh, livestock and things like that. They would, they would store pottery and they, they would teach pottery and things like that. And they would, it's more of a kind of storage shelter as such, more so than a house. Their houses were slightly different. But we're gonna try and combine the two. So we're gonna try and combine what they would have in their houses as well as what they would have in their kind of storage shelters and things like that. So essentially it's a it's a combination of all of those things. Trying to use, we, well we are using hand tools only and we're trying to use kind of older tools where we can. So in episode one, we used an old kind of cross cut saw really, uh, which was meant to be for a, a felling tree, for felling the tree, but we used it just for kind of sectioning the tree up. It's all part of the experience, we're learning along the way, and actually it did the job, but here we're now using slightly more modern tools, which does make things a lot easier. Now the digging of the pit is possibly the, the most horrible job I've ever done. What would you say, Dad? It's, yes. pretty, it's pretty bad, isn't it? It's the worst one, don't sign up for it. Don't <laughs> sign up he says, for it. don't sign up for it, it's a real bad one. And seriously, it's absolutely back-breaking work. We have been here all day today, both of us, and we've probably had combined a half an hour break that's it it's now coming up i think it's 3 30 and we've had a half an hour break and we have been digging and digging and digging and digging and we've been using the mattock as well which is the kind of pickaxe style uh, tool and it's just horrendous ground to try and dig in it's horrendous let me explain this for you so on the top of this soil we, of this basically this ground we had a, a small layer of peat now this peaty layer is covered in tree roots. There's Scots pine trees everywhere. You can't really see them behind me here, but there's one just to my right, and they're all out in the front of me here. It's a Scots pine tree forest. Their roots are very shallow. They grow through the peat soil layer most of the time. They do go down into the other soil and into the gravel, but it's that peat layer. So you're trying to dig, and you're just ripping into tree roots all the time. And I can tell you it's really, really difficult. So what we're doing is we're using the mattock to catch those roots and pull them up. Now the roots are here. I've got some of them here. I'm not going to waste these. So for those thinking I'm just wasting these tree roots, I'm not going to waste these pine roots because this can make really good cordage. So what I'll do is I'll kind of strip the outer bark off of it, um, split them down. I've showed it before in my videos a number of times uh, and I'll soak these in water for quite a while just to allow that moisture to stay in them and I'll make some cordage out of them. So that's another fun project and we're, it's just like the Viking series in the sense that we're trying to use the resources that are around us. This shelter is going to be built from resources pretty much that we can find in this surrounding woodland. So I'm not throwing away these tree roots, but they are difficult to dig. Underneath the peat layer, we have the soil layer. Now the soil layer is very close to the gravel layer, which means that we're, as soon as we get through that peat layer, that initial peat layer, we're then digging into stones. And I mean large stones. Stones like this, okay? That's a, that's a bit of a nightmare to try and get a shovel or a spade through. You know, you just hit it and it stops. So it's been really difficult. Again, you've got to use the mattock to break up that ground, to loosen these and then scoop them up with a shovel. So essentially it's probably taken us twice as long as it would in a, in a different woodland that has much softer soil. However, the, like we said, the Saxons did build their houses in, sl in small pits. So we're gonna try and go for it. Look at these roots. I mean, they are just tangly and they're everywhere. They're absolutely, but very, very shallow roots and most of them very thin. We've only had the odd thick tree root to get through. But most of them are pretty thin, so it's not too bad. But when you do hit a thick one, it's really quite nasty. So we're using a combination of tools. We're going down, I don't know, maybe 18, 20 inches, Dad, if yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we can see how they're now, yeah. But we don't want to go too deep, because essentially it's just a lot of more work for us, and hopefully you guys get the gist of what and, we're and, building. And you can check out the work on Mike's hand there. Yeah, we're getting some, getting some blisters. So I got one there, and the other day, digging around, Nice blisters there. So it shows we're using hand tools, guys. Dad's I've got, got, I've got one there. Look. I've got the support one because the wrist is gone. I've got that one. Do you know I got that one? 
Oh. The wife was doing some cooking <laughs> and I pinched one of her cakes too soon. <laughs> it's tough work and even when that, as dad's raking that there, that's what we've loosened with the mattock. Look yeah. at it, just stone after stone after solid, stone. This stuff, look. Yeah. Look, it's like concrete, absolute. It's like ballast that's half set. That's what I could just throw it out. It is really tough Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Tough stuff. I mean, we've done a full day. I was just saying to the guys, Dad, we've done a full day, haven't we? Be a Viking. <laughs> it's magic. Just, just be a Viking. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. going to be good when it's done, though. It's going to be really good. It's going to be. Dad, explain what we're doing here because. Yeah, we're going to put a support there because this is going to take a lot of the tread. So you can we see the depth we've down. gone down to. Yeah, we're going yeah. down. To gonna get, we're going to use that as a. As Step. a support, it's if like you like, a because if you can imagine, that's just going to crumble away if you don't put some form of support there. So these are logs that we had to cut earlier, so we used, uh, you know, that handsaw that works on the pool, yeah. really good, flies through these things, even yeah. I can use them. Yeah. And uh, that's a major support there, gives us a nice hard front to the front of uh, the structure. And then once we get that last bit cleared out, I think... <laughs> You know what, tea time? Would you say call it a day for episode two after that? I think so, yeah, I'm getting near the end now. <laughs> getting near the end now. Tell you what, Dad, you're an absolute trooper. You don't yeah. stop. That's the trouble. That, we make yourself stop. I've had a couple of stops today, but I've made myself have a couple of stops. Because it's easy to get carried away doing this. It's really easy. You think, oh, I'll just do a bit more. You've only got to go two inches down. <laughs> just take another two inches off. <laughs> If you do work it out metrically, there's probably another two metric tons that you've got to move from going down another two yeah, inches. I mean, look at this. All this stuff around the altar, we put the soil all around here. Yeah, the bank. We, we, we made a bank, essentially. We might put some beds in here and things as well, but that's going to be coming way down, way down the line. He the might. He might. Yeah, the next stage is going to be basically the timber frame, and we'll use, we'll use some traditional timber framing uh, techniques for that as well. That's going to be really fun. This is the this is the hardest job. Yeah, it's the worst this is and it's really quite boring because yeah. nothing happens. You're just digging a hole. You don't get to see a structure yet. So for me and Dad, it's quite boring. But for you guys, when you get to watch it each week for I don't know 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it's probably really entertaining. But yeah, we're going to carry on doing this and finish this, and we're going to chill out by the uh, the pallet cabin over there, have a cup of tea, and probably call it a day. But um, yeah, thank you so much if you're still watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting this pit done and moving on to the roof.
How are you feeling, Dad? Tired, very. That's one hell of a job we just did today. Um, what we've done is slightly different. I haven't seen this from Anglo-Saxon houses that I've seen, these pit houses. They tend to just have the pit and then the kind of rafters would mm. come down, you know, and the sides <coughs> would come down meeting the pit. I haven't seen logs in them. And actually that was your idea, Dad, wasn't it? So but basically, on average, I think they were like three quarters of a metre, somewhere a metre deep. There's no way we're digging a metre. Right, it would take, trouble. yeah, it would take, with the hand tools, which obviously they did, it would take us a really long time. So we decided to not try and just destroy ourselves by digging down even further. How could we make it in a way more raised? And, and what you came up with was this log idea, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So explain what it is. Well, basically, we as I saw it, when they dig a pit into the ground, your level of the ground is let's say 18 inches call it what's 18 inches in real in real modern language we, we by the way we, we jump from metric to yeah. imperial i get it from you i don't know why you do it but i get it from you so we jump from metric to imperial all the we time you're in england yeah yeah, yeah. so wherever 18 inches is in metric <laughs> that's what i figured the average might be so i thought why are we going down with the level of the ground to stop air coming in etc if that's what they wanted it for i think you that's know? what it was for is mostly for insulation uh, and also, if they were storing goods and things like that, it was for keeping them cool. It's a, it's a constant yeah. temperature. It's constant much more of an even temperature than if you had it, you know, in the open. It's kind of like an earth fridge type thing, yeah. you know, like a, yeah, a yeah. storage well, thing. I figured if we got, which we had some fall down trees, which we're going to have to cut anyway, that are eight to nine, ten inches in diameter. Can you imagine digging down another ten inches in so diameter? So much soil. There's so much yeah. awful soil. I thought, well. <laughs> If we put that there, and then the soil we have dug out from here, yeah. bring it back up to the top edge like this, that gives us this huge depth here. So essentially... Uh, and it's the same as going down, it's the same thing. We've, it's the same. We've gained that much, yeah. which we haven't needed to dig down. We've gained, that's, that's easily six, that's probably seven or eight inches, that one. They're, well, they're we, eight inches, yeah, eight we've, to nine we've, inches. We've gained that much where we, we could have just dug down further here, gone down another eight inches, but that would have taken absolutely ages. So we saved some time, but we've still got that bigger depth of, of overall probably about 18, 18, 19 inches I'd say almost, especially at, at, at that end. And then we've reused the soil. Yeah, so there's no draft under here because the soil's at the top. Yeah. So we are at ground level. Here's the ground level right here. Look, yeah. there it is. So I mean... That's a bit of genius from you, Dad. It's yeah, quite a rare one. I'll have to go and have a lie down. Well, I'll have to have a lie down anyway. We'll have to have two lies down for this. <laughs> it's been, no, it's, it's, it's worked out it's really good. And then on the sides here, um, let me just show you. Actually, you can see in that corner. So we've staked yeah. them in here. Now we didn't burn the stakes like we did in the Viking house because these logs sit here anyway. Mm. They would have sat here and it would have been absolutely fine. But just for a bit of added security, we've just added stakes. Yeah, we could have burnt the stakes at the bottom, which we did in the Viking series, and it would have preserved them a lot longer. But we figured these logs are so heavy anyway, they, we made the little ledge for them to sit on. They were just sitting there. Yeah. And that soil that's compacted against them probably would have meant that they just sat there anyway. But it does mean that 
Now you can sit on the wall. Yeah. We're, got, we're not going to need to, but you can, and it's not going to roll away. Now I haven't, we didn't stake the end ones because you measured them. But I, I measured up, and I thought with all this driving these stakes, which is hard with the matter because it's got like a two-inch square head to it's, it. I was saying to that, it's like trying to hit a two-p piece yeah. with a two-p piece. It was, like it's really, it's not like a sledgehammer surface no, area. It's no, really, it's really thin. small. So I figured if I over measure it, 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 it will butt up here, you know, against these other ones which mm. are staked, so we don't need to stake it. Yeah. And the pressure of the, you know, all the soil on the outside edge is pushing that in to the end here. So that saved us a lot of work. So, you know, basically we've, uh, this, we're trying to save ourselves as much work as which you would do. But that, that this godsend. has been absolutely awesome. What, mm. what is it called again? A mattock? mattock. We think it's a mattock. mattock yeah. It's a seriously good. Bit. How old do you reckon this is? This eighteen hundred looks... years old, easy. A hundred years granddad. old. Well, it belongs to my grandfather. So. A hundred years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would absolutely. Be, yeah had a battering that we've used that so much it's got woodworm and everything <laughs> but <laughs> I bet every time he hits it with the woodworm the woodworm would go <laughs> <laughs> no really good tool this really good tool yeah and we've even used both sides of that today it's, we have used it today it's I mean been look a really at good this. tool yeah. let me show you guys the tool this is really cool that is the mattock essentially the the 100 year old mattock which has probably been the most used tool today and it's got this kind of, well, this is a bit mushroomed out, actually. Is that purposely mushroomed out? I think so. I think it's used on railways. That's what I think it's used for. For railway sleepers yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I think so. For nailing in the pins that hold the sleepers on yeah. the rails. Let us I know. Think. Guys, let us know if you if you know. We don't know too much about the mattock. Well, Dad does a bit. But let us know if you know any more about this tool. It's got between the pickaxe and the sledgehammer. It's got the pickaxe side here, yeah. And then a the little sledgehammer. So that's what we were saying. We were trying to hit logs that had that diameter or surface area. And it was really tricky. But, yeah, lovely old handle to it. And that's that's had some really good use today. So breaking up gravel is ideal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, the other thing is really good, really old fashioned. Again, it's all old school. It's like me, I'm going to get down and not be able to get up. <laughs> it's what we call a drain spade. Now, you can't, with an ordinary shovel here, that's for moving volume and the edges are curved up. You see, so it doesn't all, doesn't all spill off the edge and it's flat. So you don't go down with it, you go you sort of horizontal yeah, to scoop with it. And this one used to break up, it is actually a drain spade for cutting a narrow channel over here in the UK. The average drain used to be four inches. I don't know what that is, a metric, 100 mil? But it's a four inch there. So it just graduated out a little bit with a curve and you can cut through tree roots with it. So Useful. that's very, very handy for breaking up the, uh, the stones yeah. and the gravel as well. So that is it for episode two of the Saxon House build. We hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to need a break before the next. Yeah, we haven't enjoyed it. <laughs> we have not. Yeah, it's been really no. tricky, but uh, we got it done. This has all been done in the day. This yeah. we did start the pit originally in the first well, episode. We, we, a meter. In, yeah, it? about a meter. Just but drawing. this has been one full day's work. Two of us mm. with a half an hour break. That's it. But we hope you're enjoying it. Let us know your, your feedback from the series and what you'd like to see. Uh, and those of you out there that are the history buffs that know a bit more about Saxons than we do, please let us know in the comment mm. section. We do try and do our research where we can, uh, but it's nice to know, you know, the historically correct things that they did. So if you do know, guys, look, please let us know in the, in the comment section below. We always have a really positive mm. comments section with generally some useful comments, Absolutely, you know, some yeah, useful yeah. feedback. So let us know, uh, yeah, below if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see here. We've got the timber frame to build to build next, yeah, and then the rafters and then the roofing material. Then we, you'll be able to see the structure. Then you? you're going to see the structure, yeah. yeah. So the next one you will see a bit more of the structure. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Do check out Dad's YouTube channel, TA Fishing. There's a link in the description below. He's so close to 200,000 subscribers, mm. we really wanted to get it. So yeah, please subscribe to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. I'll pop links in the description below. And as usual guys, if you want to help support the channel, there's the TA merchandise, uh, which Dad has some as well, TA Fishing stuff. There, that's taofficial.com and there's links in the, the description below. Thanks so much for watching this Saxon House episode and we will see you soon in the next video.